What is up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for an episode of Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr, the game with the longest name ever, hopefully with that grandiose name. It will also be able to deliver on the gameplay front. This game is kind of a pseudo MMO meets like, I don't know. It, this is a game that it's got a lot of Diablo influences, but it's also like an MMO, like the investigations and the fights that your character undertakes, like on his own on various planets, actually change the way the universe works and stuff like that. You collect gear, you equip it, you tear up and all that kind of stuff. Not like crying, because we don't cry when we see heresy, brothers. We fight heresy. We see heresy and we expunge it. Because sponges are used for cleaning, and heresy is one of the most dirty of things. So anyways, let's create a character here. We can be a crusader or an assassin. This is really the choice between being heavily armored and running around being like, daka, 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 daka. Or you can be like a Vindicari assassin, which means that you can run around like doing all kinds of ninja shit and firing lasers, but generally not really having a whole lot of armor. I'm going to go with the crusader. There's three expertises we can choose here. Uh, six classes in total at the moment. The assassin has infiltrator, sniper, and eradicator. The crusader has juggernaut, which is like this big dude with like a chain sword and like a shield. You've got the assault gunner, who is like a dual wielding pistol clad storm bolter, las pistol, whatever the hell it is, auto guns. And then there's the heavy weapon specialist, who basically looks like your run of the mill space marine. So anyways, I'm going to go with the heavy weapons guy. We've got to name him right now. We're going to name him Caligo, because I like to think that someday Cassius would have become an Inquisitor if he really applied himself well. And so there it is. There's Caligo, our Crusader. Let's go ahead and play the game and check it on out. All right, so here we find ourselves in our little hub base. There's a number of things that we can do over here. Namely, we are capable of going to stores, and so it looks like we've got crafting on this side, which is where we can go through, and we can take, like, random bits and pieces that we find all over the place, and we can craft new stuff out of it, like purity seals, neural implants, we can make signums. Uh, we've also got the ability over here to talk to Ragna Von Winter through the store. It looks like she's got a mastercrafted shotgun, a Kashi suppression shield, and a Thule great sword. Uh, we're not really going to be able to use any of this stuff right now because we don't really have a whole lot of cash on us at the moment. Gotta get them Imperial credits. We got none right now. At least it doesn't use the shitty system from Dark Heresy to get equipment. We're like, roll a dice. Let's see if you can requisition it. Here's a hint. You can't. You will never be able to requisition the thing you want to be able to requisition. Welcome to Dark Heresy. We've also got a number of trees here that we can build out. Everything from defense to support. We can make it so that we get cooldowns for our skills a little bit faster. Our inoculators, we can make our inoculator. Your inoculator is your potion, in case you were wondering. If you've played Diablo, it's your potion. That's exactly what it is. Area effects, we do run a shotgun, and so I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should do that, or we could start ranged combat off with more damage. We can go weapon damage by 5% if we have them suppressed, slowed, stunned, or frozen, and then we've got critical hit chance. I'm just going to go with flat damage for right now. We can put a couple points in right there. That'll probably stack up fairly rapidly. Uh, we do get pips right here. I don't know what happens when you finish a tree, but I assume something awesome happens when you finish a tree. What happens if we go to our inoculator over here? It looks like we can add, so we've got 50% of max suppression resist, but not over the maximum. I have no idea what that means. Do I have like an extra inoculator over here? We've also got, what is that? We've got restores 50% and then we get 10% of our maximum HP. Can I remove these and get rid of them? Does that matter? Can I go like double coagulant right there? Because I would rather get a ton of HP back. That makes me feel a little bit safer. Let's do that. We'll get a ton of HP back and then we'll go to the star map and let's go find some heretics to expunge. Because you know they're out there. They're hiding in the galaxy being all nasty, worshiping Nurgle and bullshit. Being like, ooh, Slanesh, you rub my tummy so good. And I'd be like, no! Only the Emperor may rub your tummy. Only the Emperor may give out the cookies of wealth and happiness and also satisfaction. Shotgun! Uh, Chernobog system looks like it's the easiest, so this right here is the difficulty rating for the system. Let's maybe travel to Chernobog first and see what's going on there. As far as I know, anything named after Chernobog is probably up to no good. So we've got the Chernobog system on this side. There's Acheron, Lacaon. Let's go to Chernobog. And it looks like there are a number of worlds over here. It's an empty dead system which has been isolated from the Imperium for 2,000 years. Although we have no trace of it. And if there's one thing I know about Warhammer 40k, it's that whenever... It's whenever a planet goes off the Imperial grid for like two, three millennia, there's probably something horrible going on there. Uh, we've got Port Aria over here, which is probably the smartest starting area. Desolation Sigma, we've got a small purge. That's a premium mission. I have no idea what that means, but it's got a difficulty of 30, and we're level 1, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, here's a little bit of advice. 
definitely don't jump into difficulty 100 missions first. Uh, if the name is in red, it's probably really, really going to hurt you, and it's not going to be fun for you, so don't do it. And that's my recommendation. It looks like we've got clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission. Okay, let's go kill some heretics. The hereticus must be expunged with the sponge of holy cleaning of light of the golden throne. Hey guys, how's it going? I see some blood. It looks like bad things have happened to people here. So it plays just like Diablo. If you've played Beware, the stars, the ancient unseen enemies of mankind, we must be strong and give them no quarter. So what is this right here? Like, is that my cover rating? That's got to be my cover rating around my feet right there. Okay, we're allowed to die three times. We've got environmental explodies over there. Thank God that the unleash death. No! A Bulgrin. Oh God, he's scared. Oh, they're all shooting at me now. That's always a good sign. I'm gonna go ahead and let's let's fall back to safer climbs. How about that? Beg to your false emperor. I don't think I'm gonna beg to anybody right now, but I will fire some missiles at you with my shoulder packs. That worked out pretty. This dude just charged straight through like he didn't give a damn. This dude thinks he knows us like that. About to go in on this dude. This bullgrin better figure it out. I'm gonna throw a grenade at them. They get a grenade right now. Enjoy, gentlemen. Yup, enjoy that. And then the enemies have been laid low. Goodbye, Bulgrin. Time for you to die. Uh, the game does feel a little bit clunky right now, but it's important to remember that this game is like really early on in its early access. This is basically the first iteration of the game. There's only like 10 missions available at the moment. They don't have voice acting. They don't have cutscenes or anything like that that's been added to the game. These dudes over here, I only have a couple grenades left, and I'm a tiny bit terrified. Ow! They're shooting me with flashlights! You know what? Screw it. Grenades. Yep, grenades fix everything, man. Grenades fix everything. I get the feeling that I probably should not be charging them up. Oh, never mind. My weapons are stronger than theirs. We reduced them down to, like, fleshy bits. Those dudes got gotten rid of. What is this over here? Is this, like, a loot crate right here? Can I have this? Let me have a loot crate. It looks like a loot crate to me. I'm going to break it open real fast. Yup, give me your imperial treasures. I just want them for imperial pleasure. Rub them on my wiener all day long. Oh, girl. It's actually kind of hard to access the wiener through all this power armor. It's been a problem that I've run into. It does look like we need to reload. I haven't seen... Dude, enemies left a ton. We've killed a lot of guys so far, and it appears to me as though there may be a significant portion of these dudes left. I'm getting the feeling that cover is not really like a requisite concern for my character. That's just the feeling that I'm getting right now. That's just the impression that I get. Uh, mighty mighty boss tones in there for just a, I'm gonna sh yeah I'm gonna shoot gun you guys you guys gotta go on this side it doesn't look like I'm taking a ton of damage my health is at the bottom left and these dudes don't appear to really be sinking me the benefit of that ceramite power armor man we got that stuff locked in finish you off real fast yep you got to go cover cannot save you from the righteous judgment of the imperial empire's throne ooh Caligari credits yay I like Cal what is that right there ooh it's an explodey okay I was like, what is that right there? I guess we found out. Uh, it looks like we have multiple abilities. We've got a flechette round. It's got a cone effect. We've also got a short burst. Let's try that out. Ooh, that was fun. Maybe I'll try that out next time. Okay. We've got like a couple of utilities here that I haven't been properly utilizing. Somebody's going to catch that auto fire right now. Unleash death. Yeah, I don't think death is going to be a thing you're going to unleash very well on me. I've got an automatic shotgun, man. This is a bad prospect for you. What did you do to make the Inquisition so angry that they sent me after you? I can't help but notice we're not taking a whole lot of prisoners right now. Something tells me this investigation is going gnarly for all of you. You guys are now dead. We'll get... Oh, no. There's a grenade. Let's run away before something bad happens. Yep. I had a feeling we can hold space to cover, but why would I? Why would I, though? Like, I'm so good at just running up on dudes and blapping them that I don't know why I would bother with cover. Like, oh, okay, we can duck down behind stuff. I see what you mean. All right, we can take cover. That's good. There's medical supplies over here. It looks like there's a chest. It looks like there's something over here. What is this? Ooh, it gives me more nades. I like nades. Hell yeah. You can call me Ralph Nader because I'll be throwing these nades out everywhere. Got another inoculator thingamadoobie. I haven't really used any, but all right. We've got, what are these right here? We've got Caligari credits, and we've got a chemical reagent. And that looks like it's been added to our inventory. Oh, you guys trying to run up on me while I'm looting. Be thrice cursed, Inquisitor. No! You be thrice cursed. I've got rocket launchers. 
You can't stop me. I got shoulder packs. I've played way too much Mech Warrior. A storage box? Ooh. Storage box is really, really great. Four gear. Uh oh. That's not good. These look like they might be able to hurt me. Uh, reload the gun and then hit him with. The oh no. Apparently I am overwhelmed. Ah, the little meter that goes around my character is how whelmed I am. Gotcha. Well, right now, I think it's safe to say that I am overwhelmed. Can you guys just die real fast? I just want your loot. That's all that I really want. I'm going to throw a grenade at you. You seem like a target that requires a grenade. Wow, that grenade did like nothing. Um, the, the potion button is on like a weird button. I don't know if I'm okay with that. I would probably... It looks like I've got other gear too. If I press that, yeah, if I press tab right now, I'm able to pull out other guns, and it looks like I've got a long raised LAS gun as well. What does right click do? Oh, it gives me like a burst fire. Okay, perfect. Sounds awesome. And it looks like this gun accumulates heat rather than actually requiring ammo. So we're going to want to take it a little bit slow with this thing. I'm going to wait for my whelming meter to go down. So we've got a short burst right there. We've got an aim shot on our one key, and we've got a hot shot on our two key. Yeah, that's one of the big things. It looks like they've actually looked into the rules for stuff like Dark Heresy or maybe just Warhammer 40k tabletop. We can do hot shot rounds. Hot shot rounds are pretty gnarly. Hot shot rounds are great, especially if you use like called shot in Dark Heresy. Woo! Called shot with a sniper character who's also got hot shot rounds. Them hot shot charge packs. Yup. Your enemies will not be in a good mood if they catch one of those. That's enough to drop like really high level characters with the LAS gun if you're careful. None of this looks lootable. Got some enemies over on this side. This looks like it's our single target. Ooh, okay. These guys got kind of an advantage right now. Oh, that's not actually floor over there. Okay. The floor is apparently hot lava. Can I get that guy right there? All right, get that guy real fast. I'm going to use this for cover for just a minute so that I don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to put some burst fire on these dudes. I do like the environmental effects, although the game does seem like it's kind of early on and requires a bit of optimization at the moment. I can definitely tell that the uh, frame rate is taking a dive every now and again. I'm going to give him a grenade real quick and then we'll finish this dude off right here. But yeah, I can tell the game definitely needs optimization. It might be that I just turned the graphics up too high. I'm the kind of person that like, you know, I'll throw it up to max if I have to. Oh, we're kind of beat up right now. Let me get a potion in me real quick. My health is not looking so... Oh no, these guys are whittling through pillars faster than I'd like to admit. Uh, let me regain... Oh, you get your... Okay, so that's what makes it. Your suppression resistance goes back up when you're in cover. Gotcha. Fire some missiles at those dudes. There you go. Take them out real fast. They deserve it. They've earned it. These guys are like knocking over holy architecture, man. This stuff was built by divine mandate of Terra. You can't just like destroy this stuff. That's not right. So now that all the enemies have been knocked out, uh, we don't have three deaths yet, which is a good thing. What is this over here? This is just like a skull room with a wall missing. Okay. Some kind of shrine or something like that. What's over here to the right? Anything? Looks like maybe a crate of some kind. What if I wanted to destroy this crate and get rid of it? Is there anything behind it? I actually, I like the destructible environments because that means later on there's a distinct possibility the developers might be able to add like hidden gear and loot and stuff like that that's hiding back behind cover. Let's continue forward. Doesn't look like there's anybody else in this area. We've killed a lot of rebels today, not all of them. So there are a lot of places, if I hit the M key, that we have not been so far. Let's just start hitting these one by one. I'm going to go around the horn right here. How long is the range on this LAS rifle? Is it like really long or is it like slightly long? Either way, these guardsmen are having a terrible day. But then again, like, when do guardsmen ever have a good day? You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like guardsmen ever really wake up and are like, I feel like today's going to be awesome. I feel like I'm going to have a totally safe and productive afternoon where nothing bad happens to me. You need to go, like, right this second. Ow, my suppression! No! Get behind cover. Get low, get low, get low. Obviously, they can't shoot me if I hide behind the box that they're all hiding on the other side of. No, I'm overwhelmed! My whelming! Down goes the enemy. And so we've gotten rid of another tarantula turret. What else is going on over here? I gotta wait for my... Let me get my whelming back up. There we go. Kind of a weird mechanic that when you're not under fire, you can sit down and get your cover bonus back. But, you know, I'm not really gonna question it too much. Not gonna question it too much. Dude, I need some more loot crates out here. Or maybe these little dudes need to drop more loot. One or the other. Man, we are going through them. I feel like a lot of the time, my best bet is just to charge through and get on top of them. Yeah, it looks like you can't be knocked back and you can't be knocked down so long as your meter is full. And from playing other missions that were much too difficult for me... Uh-oh, that's an augurin. 
Oh, I should have shot that barrel down there. That Ogren's got a big gun. I don't like that at all. Let's maybe mess with him a little bit. If I can knock down his cover bonus, I feel better about all this. Yeah, just keep shooting. That Ogren's got to go. That dude is like the linchpin of their strat. And then throw a grenade over there. There you go. Perfect. Get multiples with one hit right there. Clean them on out. That seemed like a grenade opportunity if I've ever seen one. Down goes another Rebel Guardian. We will cut off to the right to finish off the rest of these bad guys who are off this way. Because I guarantee you there's another couple packs of them over here. Get you. Ooh, vaporized is that. Uh-oh, we've got rogue psychers over here. That's not good. I mean, now they're dead psychers. They were rogues up until I shot them pretty aggressively, in all honesty. Probably not a good day to be a psyker either. Man, what I learned today is don't piss off the Inquisition. That is for surely. You piss off the Inquisition, they're going to be coming at you deep. They sent this guy over here like Rambo. This guy's like unkillable. Look how many bullets I'm... Oh, shnikes. That is a ton of enemies. I need to missile pack them like right now. I Dude, I killed those guys so hard the screen lagged out. What the hell? Oh, no. I'm going to retreat for just a second because it seems like this is an unfortunate prospect for me. I'm going to shoot that barrel roof. Oh, those don't explode? Yikes. Eradicators, huh? I was going to say, they look like a disassembler. So those are rebel engines right there. I do have a daily quest to kill those off. As you can see, they've sort of mixed in like daily quests and whatnot with the whole thing. Yeah, buddy. Got that kill streak. Got that kill streak. You know how we do when we play that Call of Duty. Got to call him that chopper gunner on these dudes. There's another one down, and I think I've searched... Oh, I have not searched this entire area. Never mind, then. Keep on shooting and keep on trucking forward. The more viscera and gore that I can cover the floor with, the more grimdark the situation. These dudes are probably going to take cover in, like, a shitty spot. Or they're just going to stand out in the open and get shot. That's cool. Too. Ooh, a gun. What is that? Is that... A Ooh, what is that? What, did I just pick up a LAS pistol? I wonder if the LAS pistol is just, like, my LAS rifle, but it fires... A oh, no. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what that thing is, but it's got to go. Is he going to charge me? I don't know what he's going to do. My credit score is not good right now. I cannot afford to be charged. Put missiles on him. Put missiles on him. Oh, I don't have any missiles left. Ow, my ass. I've been shot with missiles. Uh, hot shot charge pack, maybe? There you go. Give him that hot shot. Let him have it. Hot shot doesn't appear to be doing it today, so maybe we'll stay away from that for right now. Aim shot, maybe? I am a little bit hurt. Let me use my inoculator real fast. Just to make sure my health stays in a satisfactory spot. Yeah, just keep on him. Do what you gotta do. This guy's got HP. He's, ow, I've been stomped. Okay, so don't get near him is what I just learned. I was hoping maybe... Oh, I'm suppressed. Alright, let me get in cover. Oh, never mind. He's decided that I am unworthy of cover. Fire at him, brother! There you go. That did some real damage. That's what I was waiting for, is I'm trying to get some real damage off here, but I don't really have any of my supplementary weapons left. Yup, get rid of that thing. An elite sentinel weapon, or a rebel engine. Okay. We've still got plenty of health, though, and our suppression's looking good, so I think we'll be alright. So long as I can back him up and maybe get a little bit more damage off. He's about to get knocked down and suppressed, which I think is probably... Oh, my gun overheated. Yikes. Alright, swap back to the shotgun. Let's go. Ow. I may have made a mistake with my shotgun. It's okay, though, because he's almost dead, so let's just not think about it. We've got a shield right there. We've got frag grenades. We've got another Kashi thing. Their demise is your salvation, Inquisitor. I guess so. Curse me. Curse you. How dare you betray the light of the Imperium? You had it all. You were the chosen one. You were born under the holy light of Terra, and you chose to throw that away. For what? For what? For what did you throw that away? Just, you were bathed in the beauteous and glorious light of our king, the Big E. And you chose to throw that away just like trash. Could there be any greater sin against the plight of the Imperium? No, I think not. And hence why I have been deployed here. A mighty Inquisitor to destroy you and send you back to the bowels of hell like you deserve. We have one last stop in front of us. And that's going to be to go up to the top here and finish off the last remaining chunk of these enemies. I do hope that the cover system gets developed out a little bit better. Like the cover system, you can see it in play right- Ooh, supplies. Yeah, I could definitely use some more grenades. That's what I was lacking in that last fight. What do we got going on in this medical supply cabinet too? We've got ourselves... What is that? Just some more syringes? I've got 12 of them now. 
All right, push shots on these kids. They've got pretty good cover. I like the las gun a lot more. The old handy dandy Imperial flashlight. Oh, we've got grenades. Many, many grenades. Many grenades now. Handle it. Get rid of the dude that's over there firing a Melta or whatever the hell that was. I don't know. He's firing blue shit at me. I don't think it was a Melta, but these guys got grenade launchers too. And that, to me, is a concerning situation. Like, they should be... You know, why do they resist? They should be over here just cooperating with my investigation. And instead, oh my good sweet lord, we are being suppressed bad. We are being suppressed real bad right now. And maybe fall back until that turret is no longer used to them. Because that turret is a problem for us right now. There we go. Enemies are down. So I wonder how we level up, too. Do we have to get to, like, the end of this? We got a sentry weapon over here. That's okay, because I'm a 41st Millennium weapon. I'm going to fall back for just a second. I'm overwhelmed, which means there's a good chance I'll be knocked down and chain stunned to death. So let's get into cover here. See if maybe we can regenerate that meter for just a moment. So what does that do for me? Sustain cumulative yet laser beam with an increasing damage yield. Oh, that's why it wasn't working, because I've got to chain it. Okay, let's try that out on this guy. Ah, there it is. You've got to hold the hot shot in, but look what that does to my heat right there. My heat is going up with a quickness, but it was enough to kill the turret, which is all I care about. As long as the turret goes, I don't care. Let's keep our gun from overheating. I really want to finish this mission before we go too much further. A couple more guardsmen down. Is that it for me? Is that it for me as soon as this guy goes down? There it is. Mission completed. They are down. You gave them death generously. My compliments, Inquisitor. Are you ready to leave? Oh, no. There are more bad guys over here. You guys said that I was done, but it looks to me that I am not. Stay inside cover for just a minute. Let them knock this whole place down, trying to get me. Obliterate! You will be obliterating nothing today. One thing getting a... Oh, there's a chest over there. I'm glad that I stayed then. Gotta get that treasure, man. That's the point of Diablo. The thing is, like, I don't think this is, like, an incredible hack and slash game yet. But the difference is, is that, like, the Warhammer 40k community is, like, rabid and will basically play anything that they put out that has to do with Warhammer 40k. And so I can still see it being a very popular game. Yes, I'm ready to leave. I think I've had enough murder and destruction for right now. I think I've had enough muck duck for the moment. Let's bounce on out of due to my excitement of slaying heretics. I knocked my mouse pad off my desk. We've got a LAS pistol, we've got frag grenades that are upgraded a little bit, so those are master crafted right there. It looks like we've hit level 2, which is great. Got a suppressing shield, we've got an extra signum, which gives us damage against chaos marines. We've got a refractor shield, which gives us a little bit more suppression resistance. I don't know what I'm going to go with for right now. We've also got some blessed alloys and some chemical reagents. We killed 192 people? Man, all in a day's work for the Imperium, I guess. All in a day's work. We did some damage right there. So can I take this stuff with me or like... Oh, we get a, an item pack in the center right there. So what did we get? We've got a grand reward, grand reward, no reward, grand reward. What precisely did we can get a master crafted inoculator? We can get a neural implant. We can take money. We can take a purity seal that gives us medium damage and plus five focus. Another inoculator that gives us extra HP. We've got damage reduction using salvos and channel skills. Plus one quality versus our equipped main. Okay. I'll probably take the new inoculator, maybe? Sounds all right to me. I only get to pick one, right? Okay, I'll take the inoculator. And so there it is. We've got ourselves a reward. Life is the emperor's currency. Spend it well. Oh, cool. We've got another opportunity, too. We've got a plasma pistol. Ooh, I want the plasma pistol. Give me that thing, though. And so we are a master of war, and so we've gotten plus one warfare. Is that like a skill tree thing? Like, what is plus one warfare? I'm assuming that that's used somewhere. Maybe it, like, helps out with the overall galactic conquest or maybe the campaign in some way. Either way, I hope you guys have liked the game so far. This is Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. Uh, this is the first look at the very earliest alpha that they've released to Steam. If you liked what you saw, I've got a link for you down below that you can check on out if you like the game. If you like what I do here on the channel, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day. So whatever the newest indie games are that are coming out, you can bet that they'll be on the channel. If you wanted to support me in my continued campaign against the heresy of AAA gaming, you can definitely check out my Patreon down below. That's how you can support me. And other than that, I am a Twitch streamer as well. Uh, Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. I stream probably about four to five hours a day, six days a week. And you can check that out every day at 3 p.m. at Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming Pacific Time. Same cat time, same cat channel. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody.